Alright, so this is going to be a video tour on my ceiling fan collection. Since I don't have a basement, I store my ceiling fan collection in my bedroom. Um, if I did have a basement, I would probably keep it down there, but since I don't, my bedroom works. Um, so here's the first one, and this is my working ceiling fan. It's a 42 inch Hunter Low Profile that I got at Habitat, um, I believe in either early January of 2013 or late December of 2012, so I've had it for, um, quite a while now, almost a year. It's been a great fan ever since. Um, it's four blades. Um, it's kind of dusty. It needs to be cleaned. Um, it's got frosted glass on it. Two identical pull chains. Um, the reason it's so dark in here with the light off is because it is nighttime outside. Um, <clears throat> it's a pretty nice looking fan. Let me give you a top shot of it. Here's the other side of the blade. It's white. Um, and, um, there's the Hunter logo. So, um... There it goes. So yeah, that's my low profile. Pretty nice. Then over here is my black 52 inch Hampton Bay Huntington 2. Um, it's a pretty nice looking fan. <clears throat> it's um, kind of hard to see because um, it's nighttime and it's in black. Got the rosewood blades. Um, black is on the um, reverse side. It's got plastic Hampton Bay poles on it. Well, this one isn't wired up, so it doesn't do anything. Um, but I will wire it up eventually. Um, Hampton Bay logo is on this side right there. It's a little hard to see though. It's flesh mounted. And, um, these blades do partly overlap with my low-profile blades, as you can see, but that's okay. Um, then over here is my, um, <coughs> brush nickel 44-inch Hunter Stratford that was purchased at Home Depot in 2008. Um, same thing with that fan. That fan was purchased in Home Depot around 2008. Maybe this one was purchased in 2009, something. Um, as you can see, I got um, the right parts for it. I got light globe and um, um, pull chain housing and stuff. You can see in there. This fan is down rotted. It's got oak and cherry blades. Um, and let me get over there. There's the Hunter logo. And, um, this is on the light chain, and this is on the fan chain. Um, this fan also isn't wired up, but I will wire it up eventually. So, and over here is my 44-inch Hunter Brighton that I rescued. Um, pretty nice looking fan. Got five blades, and these blades need to re be replaced. Have horrible rain damage on them because the day I rescued it, it was pouring down rain, so the blades have really bad rain damage on them. So I need to um, replace the blades, um, and um, also um, <clears throat> I'm missing the ring that goes around the canopy. But as soon as I get those parts on, this fan will be complete. Um, it has fluorescent bulbs in it because it had those bulbs with it when I rescued it. I put these crystal poles on it. A little light in the fan. Fan one is a little hard to pull. Um, chose different length extenders to give it a little character. 
Um, it's got oak on the reverse side. Yeah, it's a nice looking fan. Hunter logo is right there. So yeah. Then over here on the floor is um, a 42 inch Hampton Bay Littleton. Um, that was purchased at Home Depot in 2001. Already made a video of this fan saying I was gonna hang it up on the ceiling. Um, but I am missing the mounting bracket. And I was also missing the screws to um, hold the blades onto the blade brackets, but I got those as you can see. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be using the bleach stoke blades. Of course, it's um, white on the other side. Not sure if you can see that because it's dark. Um, very nice looking fan. Um, I'm probably going to hang it right in this spot here. Um, it will overlap with those blades a little bit. But that'll be just fine, I think. There it is. Then in here in my closet is where I have all my fan parts. So, um, got some low-profile blades, um, the blades on that fan, right there, um, they were from the original low-profile that was in my kitchen, there's the original motor, um, the old light kit, it's a Minka Air light kit, there was the old light kit on my fan, um, I never made any ceiling fan videos, um, of the old like it, but some of my freak out skits with my brother, um, did show the old like it. You'll have to look closely at that. Um, this, um, whole chain, this, uh, housing here, a little thing that came off of the quick connect blades for the hunting chin. This little ring there. Yeah, so just basically a, um, a switch cap. Um, and this right here is a, um, light globe, basically. Came with a low profile. Um, just some um, basic brackets. I, I got these at Home Depot. Um, this is a bent bracket. Used to be on my low profile, and then I replaced it. And there's um, this piece. Uh, this piece is from the low profile. Or, I mean, excuse me, the Stratford right there. Um, I just got some extra blades here, a uh, rainbow blade, and up in that box right there. Um, that's the box that my light kit came in, um, and I also have some, um, other light shades in there for safekeeping. I will be putting on the, those on my low profile eventually, but I only have three of them. So as soon as I find a fourth one, I will put them on my low profile. Some air freshener just to keep it smelling nice in here. And um, in this box here, I just have some pole chains and some really small parts, basically. Um, there's this chain on the um, light in my closet. So, um, yeah. That is basically it for my ceiling fan collection. And my mom said that, um, <clears throat> maybe sometime in the future we could move all my, um, ceiling fan stuff. Well, not the hanging ceiling fans, but my, like, parts to, um, the upstairs hallway where that 2013 little tin is. But that probably won't be for a while. So that's it.